Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. As you can see over the last couple of weeks, Bitcoin has been consolidating in this descending channel right here, where recently we had this scary move to the downside, but actually got a bounce and are now trading back inside the range again. And even in bullish news, actually breaking this descending line of previous resistance, which has now been flipped into support. So now what can you expect for Bitcoin over the next couple of days to weeks or so? Well, one thing we can take a look at is, for example, the RSI momentum indicator, because ever since we reached the top at 73K, we have actually been facing this descending line of resistance on the RSI momentum indicator, where we have been getting rejected from this trend line over and over again. But as you'll see here, in the last couple of days, we actually broke out above that descending line of resistance, which could potentially be the signal for us that the trend is ready to reverse to the upside, getting a break from all of this bearish price action and potentially sending the price up to the top of this range again, which would roughly be at 71,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. And another indicator on the daily time frame is actually the MACD, which is another momentum indicator. And right here, ever since the top at 73K, we have been seeing a lot of bearish momentum. However, ever since yesterday on the daily time frame, we saw our first daily green candle close, which indicates that potentially we are seeing a reversal in the trend. So in the case that that happens and you see the MACD continue to move to the upside, showing bullish momentum, well, that's actually when you'll start to see the price move to the top of the range again. Now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Bitcoin that you need to keep an eye on to have a better idea of what to expect in the short term. First of all, we have this descending line of resistance, which has now been flipped into support. So potentially you can see a bounce from there. And besides that, it also aligns very nicely with this massive level of support from about 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. But in the case that we do just start trading higher from here, the next big level of resistance is actually right here from about 65K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. And in the case that you see the price break above that 66K level, we might get a bit of short-term resistance right here at about 67.1K. However, the next big level of resistance is from about 68.5K all the way up to $70,000 for the Bitcoin price. Now, lastly, if you are a beginner in crypto and are new to trading as well, you might be confused by what is actually going on in this move right here, because we were blasting off to the upside for a little bit, and then now suddenly we are consolidating. But the fact that that is happening is actually because of the RSI momentum indicator getting very close to being in overbought territories, which is whenever the RSI reaches a level above 70. And usually when that happens, where it gets close to being in overbought territories or even reaches overbought territories, well, in that case, the price needs some time usually to reset a little bit to around that 50 level before making its next big move. And if you don't know the way the RSI resets by doing exactly what the price is doing right now, which is just chopping around and consolidating for a little bit, because in that case, the RSI resets to the 50 level, which indicates that the price is showing neutral price action. And another way the RSI can reset is actually by the price getting some bearish price action. What you'll notice in that case is that the RSI actually moves down more quickly and actually can go below the 50 level because in that case, it's not showing neutral price action. It is actually showing bearish price action. Now, as for the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, even though it is a Monday, so the Bitcoin ETFs are trading, we don't have the data for today yet because the data is always one day behind. However, tomorrow we will actually take a look at the Bitcoin ETF inflows or outflows that we got. And this is very relevant as well because on Friday we almost got a $400 million net inflow of the Bitcoin ETFs buying that amount of Bitcoin on just that Friday. So it is very significant to keep track of all of that. And if you do want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, I recommend you subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the weekly time frame, you can see that recently we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded all the way back to the 0.5 Fibonacci level, where we found some support and are now just ranging in between these two Fibonacci levels. Also, one more thing about these Fibonacci levels before I move on. Look how perfectly 
the price is reacting to these Fibonacci levels right here. The Fib retracement tool is actually a great way to find potential entries for short-term or even long-term trades. Now moving on to the four hour time frame for Ethereum. One thing I wanted to note is that recently we had this breakout to the upside from this ascending triangle pattern. And even though I already talked about it in my previous videos, I did want to say that now the pattern has been fully completed and 100% of the price target has been reached. So now this pattern is no longer active and I will actually remove it from my chart after this video. So hopefully if you have been watching my videos recently, you caught the majority of this move to the upside, potentially even using some leverage, getting a nice trade out of that. So now for the short term support and resistance levels, as we are currently in a downtrend, the first level of support that you would need to take a look at in the short term is we might get some short term support right here at about $3,080. However, if we do just get a larger pullback, the next big level of support will be from about $3,000 all the way down to $2,850. And in the case that you do see a bounce and the price trading to the upside, well, the next big level of resistance is from about $3,150 all the way up to $3,250 for the price of Ethereum. And if you do see that price break above the $3,250 line, well, in that case, the next big level of resistance is actually the 0.618 Fibonacci level that I talked about earlier, which is sitting at about 33.30. Now moving on to Solana on the weekly time frame. Recently, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded all the way to the downside at the 0.5 Fibonacci level, where we actually found some support after getting some scary wicks to the downside below the 0.5 level and are now trading to the upside. Now moving on to the short term four hour time frame for Solana, you can see that recently after losing that trend line for a little bit, we actually traded to the upside and just started blasting through all kinds of levels of resistance. So first of all, we broke through this previous level of resistance, which has now been flipped into support, which is sitting from about $140 all the way up to $150. So in the case that we get a pullback here, potentially we could see a bounce from somewhere in that range. And in the case that the price starts trading higher, we might face a little bit of short-term resistance at about $160 for the price of Solana. But in the case that we do trade higher than that, the next big level of resistance is actually from 166 all the way up to $171 for the price of Solana. Now, if you are currently in crypto all on your own, I highly recommend you join my crypto community because this is a great place to learn from and connect with others, as well as potentially just ask me some questions if you are interested or just want to know something. So I highly recommend you join it. You can join it with the first link in the description of the video you're watching right now, but I will also link it down below in the pinned comment. This has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.